Hello, my name is Wei. I'm currently working on the visualization of history and bookmarks for the Next Generation browser. This is a simple demo. As you open the browser, by default, the bookmarks all slide in. A single click on the folder triggers the drop down menu showing the bookmarks it contains. When we search for Songbird in the awesome bar, the browser suggests some relevant websites on the fly. Once you have a web page loaded, scrolling down automatically hides the bookmarks. If you move your mouse to the top of the screen, the bookmark shows up again. Let's say you want to bookmark Songbird. In this next generation browser, you can drag the page directly up to the bookmarks bar. The browser suggests you put it into your music folder by sliding your music folder under the cursor. The browser understands that most people don't want to organize their bookmark manually. We even tell the browser to bookmark web pages. So for here, it auto fills all the information for you. You never need to organize your bookmarks by yourself unless you want to. With the browser's contact awareness feature, even if you don't bookmark the page, You'll be able to find it again if you remember that you found it on a rainy Sunday morning, whether you found it when you were at the Google Cafe, whether your mom sent this URL to you while chatting with you on Skype, or you were listening to Whitney Houston's album. If you want to see the overview of all your bookmarks, you can zoom out using the mouse wheel until you see all your folders. You can even see thumbnails for all your bookmarks at once. Select all the folders and drag the mouse down. And yes, anytime you want to view the bookmarks, move your mouse to the top. How do we switch from bookmarks to history? Double click the bookmarks bar and access a full screen view. Here you see all the bookmarks. Zoom out until it disappears, then the history automatically loads in. Imagine your boss Eric sent you an important web page but you lost it. You can type keywords like uh, yesterday office around 2 p.m. Eric sent into the awesome bar and the browser will find the page for you. There is a really easy way to switch from history to bookmarks. In the bar, use your mouse's middle key to zoom out like this. Now you'll come back to bookmarks again. In future, we'll explore how to combine actions into the awesome bar. For example, if you search Facebook and then search relate in another line, other websites related to Facebook appear. The browser could even recommend you some other sites according to your personal preferences.